So this is Gilbert again with Mobile Detailing LA. Remember, you can follow my Instagram at Mobile Detailing LA. So today we're gonna go over my detailing setup. Let's go ahead and get started. So right here, we got my Honda my Honda pressure washer, and then right next to that we got my rigid portable vac, five horsepower, four gallon, and then next to that we got our 1800 watt Yamaha uh, generator, mm -hmm. and then um, up here is where I normally keep my towels. You know they're normally filled, but you know today today has been pretty busy, so we've been running through the towels. Right here, I got my gloves, my sponges, uh, more application uh, pads right here. We got my brushes and then my window cleaner. And then right here is normally where I keep like the recycling. On this side, I keep the trash. And then down here, I got my MTM foam cannon. And for the most part, I got my, my tire shine brushes right here. And then up on the other door, go ahead and show you guys. I got a, a spray bottle with water. When I do engine cleanings or any trim, this is what I use, black on black. I use my bead maker, which is like my spray wax slash spray sealant. Got my tire shine right here. And then I got my uh, interior cleaner. So just basically this little thing is what I got for now, you know, just keep the more important things, things that I don't have to go back in the van, you know, just have them at reach. Mm -hmm. You know, later on in the future, you know, I'm gonna get my doors done and stuff like that, get more racks up here. And, but, but yeah, that's totally the back of my van right here. And uh, like this, this rack, was it custom made or? Uh, yeah, so this was custom made by a detail shop out in Compton called Detail Land. So um, when I first started, I didn't have everything bolted down. I kind of just had like my pressure washer, my generator, my vacuum and my tank, like moving around the back of the van. Yeah. But then, you know, over time and, you know, getting more money through the company, you know, just invested. And then I recently just got like the whole setup made. So it comes with like the rack up here. It comes with um, the, the back shield right here. You know, I got the reel mounted up here and then everything's bolted down down here and then down on the on the back side of it you know we got we got everything else so i got spare rags up in here you know if we ever run out of rags you know we got more clean rags in here yeah. we keep the the bucket for the wheels and then just any chemicals you know if i ever run out of them we have the air fresheners the polishers and everything back here so and then uh, your van is a, uh, what year is your van? It's a 2012 before Transit Connect. Mm -hmm. And I picked up this van. This was actually my first detailing rig. So like, yeah, so I got lucky and one of my dad's friends, I didn't know he resold cars. So he would get like auction, auctionized cars and he would resell them. Yeah. And this one does have a salvage title, but the only thing that had to be replaced was the plastic front bumper. I guess I got like a little fender bender. Yeah. And, but for the most part, the engine is completely fine. I never had to put any hands into the engine and anything like that upgrades wise other than me having the little magnets on the side of my van um really nothing much this upcoming weekend i am getting it wrapped so like major upgrades i am uh the next thing is getting my van wrapped and stuff like that and probably just getting like you know some nicer rims and stuff like that but yeah. for the most part you know that's my detailing setup this is my detailing rig and yeah do you have a tank yeah so i have a, a tank right here you can see it it's filled with a uh, deionized water and it's right. a hundred gallon water tank and like i said when i first started i had this moving around like it was crazy a, a crazy story is when i was on the freeway and i had to do like a sharp turn I actually opened up my door and it like swung it open so i was like you know what i gotta get it bolted down but like i said you know everything comes with time and patience so you know now it's all bolted down you know it ain't going nowhere yeah. my doors ain't open swinging no more so you know so you definitely recommend detailers to have a van to get to get it all bolted oh, down. Oh yeah, to get it bolted down. I mean, like I said, when I first started, I didn't have like like the money to to you know have it bolted down. So I was like, you know what, let me work with what I got. But as soon as I got that money together, it's the first thing I did. You know, bolted everything down. Got it. And then the metal plate. Yeah. Do you recommend the metal plate too? What is that? What is um, it? So for the metal plate, like I recommend it because I mean you can see how it's like kind of dirty because like you know we drop chemicals on it. You know I refill my chemicals back here and stuff like that. Yeah. And then you know. So you won't damage the carpeting of the van or like, you know, so anything won't spill and soil into the, the materials of the van. Yeah. Kind of just sits on the metal plate and you kind of just wipe it off, you know? And and it just protects the van from you actually drilling into the van. You just drill into the metal plate and the wood. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. So it's a, it's a lot more convenient, you know? Got it, got it. So Gilbert, going back to the back of the truck, yeah. um, why did you choose this generator right here? Uh, so the reason I chose this generator is because it's really compact. It's really small, you know, whenever I want to, you know, I just pull it out. And other than 
that is really just like I said I had got everything when I got my whole setup I got it on Black Friday so it was kind of just thrown into the bundle but I mean from apart from that you know it, it does everything I needed to if I want my steamer and my vacuum to be running at the same time or if I want my extractor to be heating up while I'm vacuuming then, you know it powers both of them but for the most part it's plenty of power and it's I think it's one of the quietest ones on the market that's actually gas powered so I mean that's another plus you know it's not like one of those big ones that's super loud so that's kind of the reason why I went with this generator and what about your vacuum is that just like I see everyone has yeah, this, this the, rigid vacuum the rigid vacuum yeah. yeah so the reason I went with this one is I know they saw like the, the the bigger one the five gallon but I was just like do I really want to be carrying that big old like trash can looking thing so I was like not really so I was just like just get the four gallon same horsepower as the, the five horsepower peak and um, it honestly does a really good job I mean you know as every day I'm finished uh, detailing I empty it out so you know there's not any clogging or anything like that but for the most part it gets the job really done so Gilbert, can you tell us a little bit about the pressure washer you chose? Yeah, so this pressure washer, the reason I went with it, um, I mean, other than it being with that package, is um, the detailing company I, I used to work for before, they actually ran with this one. Yeah. And I just liked the power it, it had. You know, you could turn down the power, you could boost it up and all that. And, you know, it's it's just an all-around good good um, pressure washer. Yeah, it's a gas power too? Yeah, it's gas power. It is gas powered. I was thinking about switching to electric, but then they told me that my generator don't uh, don't have enough uh, power to oh. to um, power the the electric one. You know, yeah. like that little blue one that everybody has. Was so it I was like, like the, the Krenzel or Krenzel? Yeah, exactly. It was that one because I was like, dang, you know, that'd be cool. You know, like being at a, like an apartment like this. You know, I don't really want to be making a lot of noise, so yeah. that would come in hand. But I think power wise, I think it's less power than the than the gas powered ones. Okay. Yeah, but I mean, this one gets the job more than done. You know. And what about your hose reel for your? Uh, hose? So the hose Just reel. Th this is a, a 50 foot hose reel. Mm -hmm. and and I mean, this is more than enough length for, you know, to do any car. I, I've done I've done cars, you know, park one behind another and the hose is long enough to do two cars parked right behind each other. So, I mean, the hose is really good. And yeah, I mean, I don't have like my my uh, wired extension reel, but you know, I'm gonna be getting all that soon. Like I said, everything with time and patience, you know, yeah. just God's gonna be blessing and you know, we'll just start getting little upgrades here and there. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah. little by little, man. Yeah. So I see you have two kinds of a tire, tire train dressing, applicators. Yeah. I, so, I've, I've seen this one before, but not yeah. this one right here. So this one, um, you know, this one we use it for like more wide tires, like off-roading tires or like regular size tires. Yeah. But you know, for cars with bigger rims and stuff like that, they have like really low profile tires. And then we kind of just use this, you know, just use the edge, you know, it's, it's really a soft and it's, you know, it has like the curvature of the tire, you know, compared to these where it's just kind of flat. This one is a little bit more easier to get up in the little grooves of the thin tires. Yeah. So, you know, that's the reason why I use this one right here. Yeah, yeah. And then your microfiber tile is just your standard? Yeah. You, uh, yeah, so the yellow ones are from Costco. You know, I use these for the inside of the vehicle. I use these for the for the outside of the vehicle sometimes. These gray ones are my, my window towels, mm -hmm. so I use these for the windows. And then these are like my the the towels for the body. You know, we've got some plush microfiber, double sided. You know, so yeah, I get these at a detail shop located um, not too far from here out in Compton. Mm -hmm. So yeah, those are the the towels and the brushes that I use. Got it, got it. So Gilbert, you want to let us know if you want how yeah. much you've invested in all this equipment yeah so basically the van itself that one ran me about 5500 like i said i did get it from a car reseller probably the best choice than going to a car dealership and stuff like that car reseller yeah so basically um he gets like auctionized cars and he fixes them and then what he does is that he resells them for a, for a profit you know mm -hmm. so it's below the car market but it, you know it's enough for him to you know make, make his day ends meet yeah. yeah and then like i said the van ran me 5500 and then the pressure washer the generator and the water tank and the basic chemicals to start detailing that day of um, I believe that one ran me about like 22 2300 and the vacuum you know at, uh, Home Depot they're about like I actually got this one on um, on Black Friday mm -hmm. so I got it on sale I think I got it for like 30 40 bucks I think they're normally like 70 80 okay. so you know I came up and then like I said I got all my towels basically when I went to go get all my detailing supplies yeah. I kind of just got like the whole package deal like I want to start detailing today Day. so they gave me everything and I picked everything up for about like 23 22 so all in all including van uh, products and everything machines I uh, started about like to eight eight grand 8500 yeah I bet and how long have you been detailing again uh, I started detailing 
uh, for about like I've been detailing for about three years but um, I started my business like late December so like I said for the other past uh, year and a couple months I, I was detailing with the company kind of learn all the ins and outs and you know a little incident ended up happening but you know it's all good started my own detailing business like late December and ever since you know it's been been good so this is Gilbert again with mobile detailing LA if you want to follow my Instagram go ahead and follow it at mobile detailing LA hopefully you guys enjoyed the the video of my detailing setup like comment subscribe and then leave a comment down below what do you guys think about my setup or how much you how much money you guys invested when you guys started but we'll see you guys in the next one